Hello, welcome to Night Shifter ASMR. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. Um, I've just uh, been uh, dealing with a lot of things lately, but um, I'm glad you could be here tonight. And uh, I wanted to try something new tonight. I'm thinking of uh, making kind of just a chatting series uh, on different subjects. And um, tonight, um, I've... Um, I thought we'd talk about um, envy, which is um, an interesting subject. I uh, saw a bag of apples, or I bought a bag of apples, and I noticed that the name was Envy, and it made me um, made me remember the um, Adam and Eve story from the Bible. And um, I've also been dealing with some stuff uh, in my life that kind of um, kind of uh, involves that. So I thought uh, <clears throat> I thought we could talk about that. Um, what is envy and why is it um, dangerous and harmful? And um, basically, these are just my thoughts on the subject. I'm not trying to preach or anything, but um, yeah, I, I think um, the idea is that we want something that isn't meant for us and we don't know why it isn't meant for us. Um, and that's something that you just have to let go of. Uh, like if you... Uh, uh, from a male perspective, an example, you know, like if there's a, a girl you like and um, she turns you down, she starts going out with someone else that you know or whatever, and you get you get envious, you get angry. It leads to all kinds of negative things, you know, and um, it's very hard. But if you remember that um, if that person isn't meant for you, th there's a reason for that. And... Uh, it means that there is someone else that is meant for you. And uh, if you keep chasing something that isn't meant for you, you're going to be pushing further and further away the thing that is coming for you. So um, a, a lot of you guys who um, are on my Twitch channel, you know, who join in on the Twitch channel at Night Shifter ASMR, um, you know that my symbol is the yin-yang. Um... I'm, I'm working uh, with some of you guys um, uh, to develop uh, themes and stuff like that. We've only been doing this for a few months, uh, well, n almost a year now, not very long. Um, but anyhow, the yin-yang symbol, which is the union of opposites, which I think a lot of people don't realize. They just think, oh, it's a cool looking thing. Um, I also happen to be a Cancer, and if you're familiar with astrological symbols, you'll notice that the uh, Cancer symbol is a lot like the yin and yang. Um, it's the union of opposites. Uh, cancers are hard on the outside and soft and squishy, as um, <laughs> Ramblin' Mike says, if you guys are familiar with him. Soft and gooey, gooey, soft and chewy on the inside, um, which is kind of true, but it also depends on what kind of moon you have. I happen to be a Leo, so I'm not so soft and chewy. But um, <laughs> um, the idea being... Uh, that um, everything flows into itself and it has the root of its opposite within it so that, um, you know, if you're chasing after something that isn't meant for you and you're, and you're angry and envious and you're trying to grab a hold of it, uh, you're just going to be drawing, uh, drawing negative things to you and pushing that good thing that's coming for you further away from you. So, like the... Um, you know, the Taoist, uh, say, and I guess that's, uh, I kind of got off track. I was, um, I was talking about, um, I, I've been into, uh, when I was very young, when I was about 20, um, about, uh, 22, almost 23, um, I had a life changing experience. Uh, you might call it a near death experience. I don't know what it was. Um, I went in kind of into kind of a trance and, um, I like to think I was getting a uh, download, <laughs> as it's called in the spiritual community. Um, but um, anyhow, um, it was it was it was a very scary experience for me, and um, I just had to like trust in God that it was going not going to kill me, and um, and it didn't, <laughs> thankfully. Um, but uh, anyhow. I'm kind of getting off track. I lost my train of thought. But the idea is that um, 
you, you need to let go of those things. They're really just illusions. And uh, focus on yourself. If you focus on improving yourself and uh, just daily living your life um, in balance and harmony with things and trying to let go of things that aggravate you and other people, you, you can't control other people and you can't control their actions. You just have to be ready to accept it. The only thing you control, you can control is your reaction to other people. Um, so that's what, um, that's what I was trying to do. That's what I was reminded of when, uh, there, you know, um, there was a girl that I was interested in and, uh, she decided she wanted to go out with somebody else. And at first it really hurt. And, uh, because it's been a long time <laughs> since I had a girlfriend or anything like that. Uh, I've been kind of isolated, but, um, uh, I think that's just for my spiritual development, you know, um, I'm really um, trying to be in the world, but not of the world, you know. Um, but uh, anyhow, I do like interpersonal relationships, and I'm sure I'll have some. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, being online is going to be very helpful in that aspect. But um, <clears throat> yeah, um, I, I lost my train of thought again, but... The, the idea is don't try and pull things to you that are not for you. It's just going to end up badly. And work on, that's what I was saying, work on yourself. If you work on yourself and you develop yourself from within, the good things are going to naturally gravitate towards you. The, the law of attraction is what they call it. Um, and really that's what spiritual development, spiritual uh, work is all about, is building, building yourself and uh, developing yourself, streamlining yourself, cutting things out of your life that are not good for you. And, uh, and if something is not, if something is not coming to you, then that probably means it's not for you. It could also mean that you have not reached the level of that thing, the vibration of that thing. Um, so, if you work on yourself first and don't blame other people for life, a lot of people I think have the idea that life is against them. Everything is against them. And that's not true. Um, what that is, is you throwing negativity out into the universe and, um, and it's going to come back to you. It, things are going to seem bad. Um, really it's just about flow. Um, and if you if you put a dam uh, in the in in the flow, things things can't get through to you. So um, just try and let go, and uh, that's what I did. I was just like, okay, well, you know, I really like her. It's too bad, but um, you know, that just means there's someone else who would be better suited for me. There's something that maybe I don't know about that would. Uh, that would be, I mean, you know, would, would negatively impact me because remember we can't see all ends. Only God can see all ends. So, um, I remember when, um, I was in, uh, one of my many times in college, one of my many colleges that I attended and never got a degree in anything. Um, cause I kept changing my major. I, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, but I was in philosophy, uh, a philosophy major for a little while. We were studying Thomas Aquinas and, um, <clears throat> and the idea of the providence of God. And I said, well, all things are within the providence of God. Good and evil are within the providence of God because um, that align. I mean, and it's interesting. Uh, it struck me very early, or very early on, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed this too, that in a lot of philosophies and religions, they're basically the same thing. They just call them different things and that sort of thing. But good and evil are basically positive, negative energy. And um, <clears throat> the only difference is um, in Christianity and, and uh, I assume uh, some, other, some of the other ones, um, uh, negative, they, they, they've kind of, uh, they've kind of uh, gotten the... the uh, the negative aspect. Negative energy is not bad necessarily. It's not evil necessarily. It's um, it's just negative. That's what we call it because it's uh, 
is charged, like your like the battery in your car, positive and negative, uh, active and passive, and uh, so Western civilization has tended toward towards uh, glorifying the uh, the active principle: work, work, work. You know, achieve, achieve, achieve. Whereas Eastern Eastern philosophy has been more about the passive principle, which is receive, you know, flow, let go of things, uh, receive. Now, really, the, the best approach to life is, is the balanced approach, you know. Um, receive, receptive and active when necessary, you know, like we have to go to work. We, we can say all day, oh, yes, receive. Universe, send me abundance. Uh, but if you're just sitting uh, in your apartment playing video games, um, you're not going to receive any abundance because you're not doing anything. <laughs> um, you have to be active. You have to create the pathways for that abundance to flow to you. So, um, you know, that's a, it can be a job. It can be streaming on Twitch. It can be, you have to create uh, channels for money to come to you, you know, however you want to do it. Uh, find something that makes you happy that you could, uh, you know, so you might make some money at. Um, that's the important thing is the alignment between the head and the heart. And if you can align those things, um, then you'll be prosperous. Uh, you'll have created a channel. I mean, I'm not saying you'll be filthy rich millionaire, but you'll have created a, uh, a channel for uh, flow to deliver uh, you know, prosperity. And, um, I think that's what a lot of people don't understand. Uh, um, anyway, envy, you know, uh, feeds into that because I think a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, social media and stuff like that is based around envy. Okay. They want you to think that they have a perfect life and, uh, you know, uh, corporations want you to think that, you know, it's, it's all about envy. You don't have this, but look what you could have if you give us money or you follow what we, you do what we tell you to do. And, um, I, I think that's, uh, I think that's wrong and dangerous and destructive to society, but, um, that's the way it is. So we need to change it. Uh, if we're going to, if we're going to progress, but, um, uh, anyway, so I think letting go is, is the way letting go of, um, you know, of what you're jealous of and just actively, um, actively, um, uh, like envy is a negative grasping, you know, but actively pursue, uh, improving yourself so that you can create a pathway for the thing, uh, that you desire to, uh, come to you. Um, or to raise yourself, uh, raise your vibration, as they say. Um, for those of you who've never heard that, um, the idea is that your soul vibrates at a particular frequency. And uh, like frequencies attract each other. So if you've heard the term, you know, low frequency or low vibe, uh, that's a low vibe situation. They're a low vibe person. Well, that's because your soul is vibrating at a low level and you're attracting very base things. You're attracting, um, the closer, the lower the vibration, the closer to the material plane, um, the higher the vibration, the closer to the spiritual plane. And there are several planes in between, but, um, the idea being that if you're a low vibe person, you're basically just dealing with the material plane and you, you're not, um, it, it's not very, it's not very spiritual, you know, it's not very intellectual and it's not very emotional. Um, it, it can be very emotional at times, but that's about as high as it gets. Um, but so anyway, the idea is to, to cultivate yourself, cultivate yourself, raise your vibration, uh, educate yourself, you'll raise your intellect and, and gain emotional control. And envy is, is part of emotional control. And uh, that's what I was getting at. I guess that's the concept that I wanted to kind of promote in this video is that um, emotional self-control is, is the key to improving your life because emotional reactions drain your energy like nothing else. Um, 
if you can, you know, you, you hear the term all the time, control yourself, control yourself. Well, it's not a like control. It's not like control. It's like control. Let it go. You know, learn from the situation, see what you can gain from it. And just, you know, assimilate it and improve yourself and move on. And you'll find if you do that and you have the right mindset, that something better is going to be dropped. Well, not dropped in your life, but something better is going to come into your life. <laughs> Anyhow, I wanted to pass that along. I hope it wasn't uh, preachy. I'm trying not to be preachy. I'm trying to be very uh, philosophical and, uh, you know, just a fireside chat kind of thing. Two, two guys talking or whatever, or, you know, a group of people. When I say guys, uh, by the way, that is uh, um, omni. Um, the, everybody is guys. I was just uh, raised in that part of the uh, world where, uh, but anyhow, um, you know what I mean. Just people talking, and um, I'm not not trying to preach at you, but uh, it's not preachy. It's uh, <clears throat> anyhow, you know what I mean. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to try and uh, do some more similar to this. I know uh, my channel is an ASMR channel, but I'm hoping that this is, um, see my belief about that is that ASMR is part of, I'm a strong believer in the uh, health of the mind, the body, and the soul. And I think ASMR can play a part of that, a part in that. And um, so these are gen just a general health kind of uh, thing, a mental health kind of thing. Um, and uh, so, but I hope that uh, the way that I present it is, uh, can be relaxing to you. I know there are a lot of people out there who do kind of soft-spoken. I don't consider my voice soft-spoken. This is my natural, if, if you met me at uh, Walmart, this is how I would sound. <laughs> I think I was just, uh, ASMR came along and uh, I happened to be, uh, I happened to have some tools for it. So, um, but thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you got something out of it or at least, you know, if you don't agree with me, that's totally fine. But the idea is to, you know, I I'm not presenting an argument about anything. I'm just sh uh, sharing my thoughts on the subject and uh, maybe that will, uh, and maybe that will, um, you know, promote some, some of your own thought on the subject. And, um, but I hope you got something out of it anyway. That's the important thing. I'm putting it out there into the universe and hopefully it's a good thing and, uh, uh, some good will come of it. So, um, thank you very much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed it and, um, I'll see you later, um, when I have something else to talk about. Thanks so much. Good night.